Let's get started with the Renaissance RS series microcontrollers. The RS series is a family of microcontrollers designed for embedded applications ranging from IoT devices to industrial automation equipment. In this video, we will look at the RA6M4 microcontroller, which is based on the ARM Cortex M33 and running at 200 MHz. These models are available from 64 pin to 144 pin packages and comes with up to 1 MB of flash storage and up to 192 KB of SRAM. They also support communication protocols such as the USB, SPI, I2C, Ethernet, and SDHI. We can start programming the RA6M4 using the evaluation kit EK RA6M4 available from Renaissance. The evaluation kit can be programmed using the flexible software package FSP also provided by Renaissance. A link has been provided in this slide. The IDE eSquare Studio is included with the FSP. The FSP also includes the GNU tools required for compiling the programs. The documentation for the flexible software package can be found in the link given in this slide. Let's launch the eSquare Studio. At the launch, eSquare Studio will ask the user to define their workspace. The workspace is basically a folder where we store our projects. We can choose to create a new workspace for our new project. We name it Renaissance Array Demo New. The directory names or the project names must not contain any special characters other than the underscore. A new workspace will be created in the specified directory. As the workspace is created, the IDE would then prompt us to create a new project. We create a new C, C++ project and then select the Renaissance RA and Renaissance RA C, C++ project option. We choose the name project underscore zero. On the next screen, we can select the devices and tools to be used. The FSP version is 4.3 for this demo. The boards are based on the RS6M4. On selecting the board of our choice, we can see the number of pins and the processor associated with that board in the device details section. We can also select the debugger. On the next screen, we can select the type of the project from flat, trust zone secure and trust zone non-secure. We select executable option to build the project to an executable file. We have the option to initialize the project with no RTOS at all or we could choose from the Azure RTOS thread X or the free RTOS. We select the bare metal minimal option and click finish to start building the project. We select the open perspective option. The project items are initialized. At the center of the window, the project summary is displayed that contains information on the board, the tools used, as well as the FSP version. To the right of the project summary, we can see a visual representation of the microcontroller. And to the left is the project explorer with all the files. These files can also be found in the project folder. We can zoom into the microcontroller and configure each of the pins individually. 
In the tabs beside the summary, the board support package configuration can be accessed. The clocks configuration, the pins configuration, and the interrupts can be accessed as well. By default, the IO stack is loaded in a bare metal project. The main file hullentry.c can be found in the source folder. So that's how we get started with the eSquare Studio. For further technical support, you can visit the Renaissance Engineering Communities page.